Right. Okay, hi YouTube. Um, I've been asked about the wood gasifier that I did and if I could explain it in a little more detail, show it in a little more detail by uh, one of the uh, YouTube guys on there. So uh, I'm going to try and do that now and, uh, and see if that helps to clarify what I've done. <coughs> Basically, um, as you know, this is the this is the rocket stove that I've used for the conversion. There's nothing different to the actual rocket st rocket stove itself. That remains the same. All I've done is use it in this instance uh, to be able to uh, act as a wood gasifier as well. So, and the simplest way to do it, in my mind, was was to simply put a a tube in there with holes in the bottom. Can you see that? This is stainless steel. Uh, if I can paint that properly. It's stainless steel and there's about a half inch would it be? Mm, yeah, about half inch gap between the outer tube and the inner tube to allow the secondary air to, to come up and superheat through the sides there. Now, when it, I hope, I hope you can see that, it's, so far I've just done holes at the bottom. They're not particularly neat or in any particular pattern as such, because I did struggle a bit with it, because it was very, very hard stainless steel, although I used a diamond cutter, a uh, diamond uh, uh, drill bits to bore the holes. Uh, it was very tough to do anyway. <clears throat> um, if you're going to do that on stainless steel, I suggest you use either diamond topped uh, drill bits as I've done, or even um, cobalt, something like that. Now, looking at the top, if you can see from there, it, it is down from the top. Um, personally, I would have liked it to have been a little less from the top than it is maybe about just a half an inch or so. It's actually about an inch, but it seems to still work perfect. So I don't think there's really much of a problem there. Now, on the inside here, if you, if you, if you look through the actual uh, flow tube or the feed tube, where we normally put the, uh, the, the fuel tray, you can see where it is introduced down the bottom. And it's off from the bottom by about a good uh, about an inch because it's a bracket I've made underneath that it's, it's in a kind of a, a star shape uh, not star, well yeah three pronged star shaped metal or four pronged I think it is just two bits of metal with um, slits in halfway down each so that one slides in the other um, that goes into the bottom and fits nice and snug the tube then fits down through that and rests onto the bottom. Now because it's not actually touching the bottom, air is able to get around it and underneath it. And that's, uh, that's important to allow the airflow both underneath through the holes to help the burn and also around the tube to allow the airflow to come up the tube and be reintroduced at the top for secondary airflow. So that's what I've done. Um, <clears throat> the only other thing I did was this lid here, which was just just off a off a bin, uh, a pedal bin type thing, and all that does is uh, is fit over the top. Um, it, because it wasn't a, a, a dead snug fit, uh, it's slightly bigger, as you can see. I had to bend in the sides like that, and there's four of those all around it, like that just to help to centralise it. So the hole there at the top, if you can see, is like that. Okay. Now, <clears throat> I've then got to make a pot stand to put a pot on that. But what I'm also thinking of doing is actually having a tube up here, uh, slightly more, which I'm going to try. And um, because it, it, it will help to, to suck up that draft and, and I think, increase the uh, the flow you know the flame 
Um, I've also got another little thing I've made for the top which will sit onto that and so basically you will have the flames coming up into that around the holes here, pot will go onto that and the flames will come out the side of it. You'll get heat from here and around the, the jets where the flame is coming out the side. I'm, 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 I think this will work, I'm not really sure but I, well, I'm going to give it a try. Uh, <coughs> so that's it. I hope that answers any queries as to how I've actually actually made this. Um, and as I say, the, 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 the best thing about this is that you can then take that tube out again. Um, these are just spaces in there. The, the, the things that separate the inner tube from the outer tube are just like a stainless steel uh, bridges that I've made. To keep it an equal dis distance all around and make it a nice snug fit. Uh, so you'll have to figure out some way of doing that for yourself. Um, <clears throat> but that's it and it works. It works well. So my next plan, when I've messed about with all my options on this, is going to be the biggest project. Because that's going to be a rocket stove used as a rocket stove with no fan um, where we're getting secondary burn to improve the efficiency of that rocket stove and as yet I've not been able to get the materials that I need to do this I've got the design done uh, that's all in the bag so I know what I'm doing and I know it's going to work and I know it's going to be good. I just haven't done it yet. But as soon as I've done it, uh, you guys are going to be the first to see it. Uh, I shall post it and put it on YouTube for everybody to have a look at and see what you think. I think it's going to be quite something. I'm hoping it will. We'll see. But anyway, uh, that uh, that's for another day. So we'll see. Um, <coughs> But in the meantime, <clears throat> I hope that uh, helps you out and answers your questions. I'm also going to put another video of this working as soon as I can. <clears throat> and I'm going to see if I can burn some charcoal in there with the same system here and gasify the charcoal. I just want to see how that's going to, uh, to work because the last time I tried this, I just put some twigs in it really, some bits of wood. And it seemed to work well at, uh, at doing that. But I think if I, uh, if I use taller sticks and cut them more evenly or something like that, or even wood pellets, um, we would have got a, we, we, I would have got a longer and hotter burn than I did. And as it was with what I did, was still in excess of half an hour, it ha had it running easily without trying. So I think uh, it's quite possible to just keep it going. And, once you've got it, uh, once, as they're burning down, just add some more fuel in the top. You've got the heat there, it's going to burn it again and, uh, and start the whole process again. So effectively, really, you can keep it running. Um, apart from any ash that builds up, you can clear that out from the bottom eventually. So I, th I think for a long time, you know, a reasonable amount of time anyway, you should be able to keep it running probably up to two hours or so quite easily, which is more than enough if you're cooking or, or anything like that. So there you go, um, but the beauty of the the, the, the the next project when I actually get onto that, the rocket stove is, you can use it as a rocket stove, so you can keep feeding them sticks in and just keep going, you can go all day with it, it won't matter. You will have the heat from it, you will have the efficiency of it, the simplicity of it, of a, of a rocket stove, but at the same time, you will have the benefit of being able to gasify the smoke, uh, any any a small amount, albeit a small amount of smoke that actually leaves the rocket stove, and um, make a more efficient burn, and um, a cleaner burn, and so producing much less carbon. So I'm, I reckon that's going to be the one. I've seen other things where people have put on and they're producing f uh, stoves that are actually being manufactured that are using fan assisted you know, kind of like a forge really, you, you pump in the air in 
to, to be introduced into it to force that air to, to create a better burn. That's that's fine. I'm sure it's going to work for some, and it's it's just but it's just another another thing to to use in the field that could go wrong, even if it's uh, battery assisted or th uh, th using a thermoelectric fan or something like that. I mean, it's another another device and it's no more noise and stuff. If you want a cleaner, quieter thing, you don't want fans and things like that if you can help it when you're out in the in the woods and you want it to be nice and quiet. I think what I'm going to be doing is going to provide the answers to sort all that out. I hope. <laughs> anyway, I'm pretty, I'm pretty excited about it. Uh, so there we go. Anyway, enough of me rambling on. I hope you've enjoyed that. I hope that uh, answers the queries to the guy that actually wanted to see it in more detail. And anybody else thinking of uh, of that as well, wanted some more information on it. And um, yeah, I shall post the next video as soon as I get round to it. So thanks for watching once again and thanks to everybody that subscribes to me and um, it's, it's great to get the feedback from, from people and find out what you think. Uh, and I, I'll take this opportunity as well to apologise to those that I can't get back to straight away. Sometimes it's, it's been a few weeks or in some cases a couple of months before I've replied to something. And that's just because uh, you know I do get quite a few coming in now, and I can't always, I don't always see exactly uh, who's actually messaged me um, from day to day, and uh, because I'm busy doing other things as well. So when I get round to that, uh, and, I, and I do see, I try to reply as soon as I can. So I apologise if there's a bit of a delay, but uh, my intention is to get back to people as soon as I can, and just yeah, at least acknowledge. That I've uh, received their uh, comment so uh, and thanks to everybody that does that um, there you go anyway thanks for watching and uh, this is from Betty Shaw and bye for now